Welcome all to the introduction of storyboards. And if you're unfamiliar with storyboards, it's actually a new feature in Xcode 4.2, which you must have. So if you don't have it, check out the previous tutorial on installing and upgrading to the newest Xcode 4. Now, what I've got in front of me is something basically that I've developed in a matter of a matter of actually five minutes. And that's how easy this is to develop with this new storyboard feature. So as you can see from the screen, I've got two basic buttons. Somebody can click red or blue. Now given that, it takes you to a different, uh, what they call a view, um, with another button in the middle that'll take us back to the home page. We can click home and it cross dissolves into back to our home page, which then we can click red, and uh, we're again prompted with a different view. Finally, I want to show you just a little bit more on the, the functionality. We can click the home button and we get what's called a a popover menu. And so this is kind of what we're going to be going through today, but it's just going to be an introduction to the storyboard and how useful and interactive it is within the Xcode 4 IDE, which is the integrated development environment. So <clears throat> let's jump out of the simulator here. Now if you're new to Xcode, go ahead and start a new project. And you can do that by uh, file, new project, etc. And you get prompted with the screen and you can choose a template. So we're going we're gonna to click the single view application. And we're just going to call this uh, storyboard for this time, for, uh, for this particular, there we go, spelling was an issue there. Um, for this particular tutorial there. Now the device family, you can do a universal, you would get both uh, iPhone and iPad templates. We're just going to focus on the iPad for this time being. <clears throat> and then as you can see below that, you'll see the use storyboard. And this is for the iOS 5, like I said, is integrated into the Xcode 4. So we're going to make sure that's clicked, <clears throat> excuse me, checked, and go ahead and click next into uh, actually saving your project into a folder of your choice. So now that we've got our uh, project in front of us, we're going to simply go over to the left hand column here and within all your files and folders you'll see a main storyboard that you'll that you'll click into. Now you'll see a basic, basic white screen which if you click the, uh, the zoom out You'll, uh, you'll see your basic view controller. And this is going to be our main front page. So, as the, when the app loads, you can see this arrow. This is where they're going to be drawn to this view controller. Now, as you saw from the previous tutorial, we had two other views, if you remember. We had a red and a blue view controller attached to this main. So, that's what we're going to set up first is integrating and pulling in two new view controllers. So if you double click into the white area, you'll zoom out, zoom back, etc. So align yourself so you can add two view controllers onto the screen. And you can simply do that by going up to this view up here and showing the utilities, which this is going to have your utilities, your objects, uh, so on and so forth, attributes of what we're going to put in objects. But uh, you'll see the very first thing on the list is a view controller. As we spoke about, we're going to add two of these. So we're going to simply click, drag a uh, new view controller onto the screen. It doesn't matter where it goes. We're going to integrate that in the future. And we're just going to throw another one on there um, right above. And we'll say this is a blue, this is a red. Now before we get launched into this, we're going to change the background color so we know which is which. So if you double click on the view controller that you want to edit, and uh, it's really zoomed in so you, you just know that that's the view controller you want. Double click on it and then click on it again and you'll get the attributes up here. If you click uh, show the attributes, you'll see background where we can change this to a red. And then we're going to do the same thing. If you need to zoom out, go ahead and zoom out and uh, focus in on this view controller up here. Double click it click it one more time to select it and again if you show the attributes we're gonna change this to a blue so find some white space or click the uh, zoom out and uh, get a basic overview of how the storyboard is gonna be with our main homepage here where we roll into the app with go ahead and double click 
double click, sorry about that, and uh, we're going to add our two buttons onto the screen right now. So we're going to add two separate buttons. You could control, copy, you know, etc. Make these buttons as big or as small as you'd like. And as my computer's thinking, I'm going to make that uh, that size there. And then we're just going to make this about that big there. So you've got your two buttons. Now what I want you to do is double click those buttons and add a quick label to them. So we're going to write red in one of them and in the other one as we're thinking as we're going come on there we go double click the other one and label that blue for the time being okay so once you've got that set up you've got your uh, view controllers with with uh, you've got your view controllers on the screen and then you've got two buttons added with the actual associated labels blue and red that is going to lead you into the next tutorial which will go over how to hook them up how do we uh, how do we quickly adjust them and if you're already lost you know pause it go back figure out what what you did wrong we haven't done too much but uh, the next parts even more I would say user friendly and that's what the storyboard is all about so check out part two for how to hook them up and going forward with the storyboards so let us know if you're lost you know subscribe to the channel let us know we, we want to help you out and uh, hopefully we can get there together all right, we'll uh, see you in the next tutorial.